Welcome to Trico. I'm Falguni Whedon, welcoming you to Trico's 15th edition. I'm Falguni Whedon, and I'm delighted to introduce you to the 15th edition. I'm here today with Professor Cohen. Welcome to Trico. Welcome to the 15th edition. Can I ask you very briefly just to introduce yourself and let the audience know a little bit about you? Okay, thank you. So I'm very pleased to be here at Trico. This is a wonderful uh, conference. I am Mauricio Cohen. I'm a physician, interventional cardiologist. I practice at the University of Miami where I have an academic appointment as a professor of medicine, and I'm also the director of the cardiac catheterization laboratory there. Fantastic. So we've taken you out of the live sessions this morning. We won't keep you for long, don't worry. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've seen this morning? We've seen some really exciting live cases. Yes, we saw a couple of great cases um, done by Dr. Patel and uh, another case doc done by Dr. Saito, so we, so I'm gonna go backwards. So the last case we saw was a robotic PCI case. The case itself was uh, relatively simple, but uh, the simplicity of using the robot was just amazing. Um, I think uh, the robot is, uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a beautiful technology. I think that it's finding where the niche is going to be. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, I think that um, this institution is very fortunate to have the robot and such a master operation as, uh, operator as Dr. Patel. Mm. So that's one, one nice case we saw. And then we saw Dr. Saito, he's a master of the chronic total yes. occlusions or CTOs. So he resolved a very complicated case with simplicity and um, he used uh, the right equipment, mm -hmm. the right technique. Mm -hmm. Uh, a great result, uh, the imaging was, you know, was a common denominator of all the, of all the cases and today with the optical coherence and tomography and also uh, intravascular ultrasound. Mm -hmm. And then the first case was done by, by Dr. Patel. Um, it was a bifurcation left main and the proximal LAD lesion. Both lesions were bifurcation, so extremely, comple extremely complex case. Um, imaged with with, uh, with OCT, with optical coherence tomography, beautiful images. Mm. Again, beautiful technique. Mm. All the cases resolved uh, with simplicity mm -hmm. and uh, without uh, without doing any extra steps, just the right steps. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, simplicity yeah. and the concept of less is more yes. is, is much better for patients and for interventions. Yes. And any advice to the young cardiologists, perhaps, out in our audience today or maybe watching online? <laughs> so I think uh, interventional cardiology is a super, super exciting uh, field. I think we're learning uh, every day, we're learning new things. Uh, 10 years ago, we wouldn't even dream of where we are now. Mm -hmm. We are doing very complex interventions that has been the domain of surgery. Now it's moving on to be the domain of us, mm -hmm. oh, our domain, mm -hmm. interventional cardiology. And then it's expanding towards uh, uh, structural heart disease, which is a, a very, very, very interesting field um, where most developments, I think, will continue to occur in our field. Mm. And precision PCI, we've seen OCT being used this morning. What are your thoughts on this technology? I think it, it, it allows us to understand much better what we do in the cath lab. So I think uh, using OCT, any, any additional imaging technique that we use, uh, allows us to uh, optimize the results, increase the durability of uh, our, uh, our procedures, and also decrease uh, adverse uh, events. I mean, that has been shown over and over. I think uh, that OCT has such a, such a powerful uh, image resolution that allows us to understand exactly mm -hmm. what we do and test new devices. 
and uh, is a way of the future. I don't think that at this uh, stage and age we can uh, do interventions without imaging, especially yeah. left main disease, proximal LAD, mm -hmm. calcified lesions, so it's, it's just becomes mainstream. Mm. And you mentioned uh, robotics earlier on. The Apex Heart Institute has done over, I think, 500 procedures in, in the past two years, which is, which is the most globally. And then more recently, we saw telerobotics being used, the first five cases globally. You're obviously positive about this technology? I am very, very positive. I think, uh, I think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very precise. Uh, the incorporation of uh, artificial intelligence to wire manipulation will facilitate uh, crossing uh, CTOs, um, integrating imaging and code registration with additional imaging techniques like uh, computer tomography, CT, may be of use in the future to know exactly where the wire would land, for example, for chronic total occlusions, mm -hmm. bifurcation lesions. I think the precision of the robot is something that us, as, as human operators, we may not have, allowing precise measurement of lesions, precise placement of stents, and will probably level the playing field among very mm -hmm. skilled operators. Whether we're there or not, mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's definitely uh, I feel that needs to be explored and developed. Okay. Dr. Cohen, thank you so much for coming and joining us. One final question before we let you get back to the live sessions. Where would you like to see Trico go next? I think Trico has to go into structural heart disease. I think that there's so much um, talent mm -hmm. um, in, in Trico that uh, I think that the, the evolving field where most uh, developments are happening now mm -hmm is uh, structural heart disease, aortic valve interventions, mitral valve interventions, uh, uh, tricuspid interventions. So that's, uh, that's, that's an incredible, incredible field. And it's also very rewarding uh, for us as doctors because many of those patients are actually not being treated mm. because of um, uh, excessive surgical risk. And now that's, that world is opening to us and uh, and we can help our patients. Dr. Cohen, thank you so much for joining us at the 15th edition of Trico. Thank you. Thank you.